My name is Moan Pomer and I believe every person have the potential to grow an amazing tech company. When I was 16, I was trying to sell flowers in the street in a small city in Israel. By the time I was 18, I went to three years in the military. In the military, I made $150 a month for three years. And when I'm done with that, I promised myself two things. One of them is I'm never going to work for someone else just because I don't want to, to anyone tell me what to do. And the second thing is I'm never going to make less than $150 a month. So I started reading all those books and pretty much eventually did what 99% of entrepreneurs out there are doing. I started a business. My business at the time was buying and selling domains. Oh man, the, those good days if you know what, if, if you were in those times. And the domains that I weren't able to resell for a higher price, I basically built websites on and promoted in search engines and, and basically promoted and sold different products on those websites. Within a period of time, I was able to grow a significant amount of income from that. And I was like, instead of buying just the domains, I can buy full businesses. That's what I was thinking about. And that's what I did next. So I stumbled upon this app company, which was really bad at the time. And that app was basically giving you apps on how to use more productively your iPhone. I negotiated the deal and I bought the company. I bought the code, I bought some employees, I bought some systems that worked in that business. I fixed it, I changed the business, I changed the operation, the functions in the business. And within two years, I was able to grow it to a seven figure in ARR, in annual recurring revenues. I can tell you this guys, seeing your app, something that you grew from nothing to a point where it's sitting in the app store next to apps like Kindle and Audible and monsters like Amazon, man, that feeling is insane. I got hooked to the idea that you can go and buy existing businesses with existing products, existing clients, existing list of employees and track record. And you can use other people's money as well to leverage whatever you have and buy such bigger businesses than what you think. Because most people think that in order to do those deals, they need to have millions of dollars in the bank, which is not the truth, just not the case. And since then, I was hooked. I've been involved in the e-commerce space, in SaaS, in education. We had a similar side to like BuzzFeed as well and news and all those awesome, awesome different deals that I was involved in. My second probably most amazing deal is that I secured this deal with like what I just said, a similar website to a BuzzFeed website, which is like a viral news. And I was able to secure that deal and we were able to grow it to 350 thousand in MRR which is pretty pretty insane assuming and knowing that I didn't use almost none of my own capital to get involved with that deal and you saw that ad right now trust me I was just as surprised as you to know that so many people click those different ads going to our website and we were making a small fortune from doing this arbitrage between traffic to basically um, website with advertising and other promotions in it over the last two years almost I stepped back from running businesses myself and I was involved in partner with an investment banking firm and I helped more than 100 entrepreneurs to go out there, buy businesses and grow their businesses by doing deals by acquisitions, mostly of buying other complementary businesses and competitors of theirs. I saw literally hundreds of deals, helped negotiated on hundreds of deals, helped negotiating on raising capital to hundreds of deals in millions of dollars in pretty much any industry you can think of. I helped negotiate in deals in the lawn care industry from, like I said, from lawn care to engineering, to construction, to heck, we even had like a cemetery deal once that we talked to. So over time, after all that experience, I developed this method and process on how to take an okay business and not just optimize it internally so it's ready to do those deals, but to really be able to go out there and find the best deals for you. So you can go out there and buy those businesses who are complementary to yours or do strategic deals with complementary business to yours or your competitors and have the capital to do those deals. So basically how to go and raise capital for those deals so you're not needing to use your cash at all and if you do maybe just a little percentage of the money that you need to put into buying those amazing amazing deals like the smallest deals we looked at our business is doing at least seven figure a year in sales and now i step back again from being involved in those you could say boring businesses because i'm back to tech i like tech i made the most fun and growth in tech so right now my passion is helping tech entrepreneurs to do the same to take my experience and not just doing those deals by growing tech companies but how to go and do it strategically with doing deals with raising capital and that's where i'm focused on right now my passion is to help tech entrepreneurs raise capital and do deals following the mrr method that i created over the years 
so they can eventually do those deals and grow not just by 10 or 20 percent a year but growing by literally 100 200 300 percent a year by just doing one deal at a time and eventually get to a point where you can dominate your market be number one in your industry and just grow fast because in the tech space especially if you're not growing fast you're going to die very soon many competitors will come and eat you or just the big guys facebook google will just come and destroy you because they'll do the same thing and i saw that happen a lot that's why you gotta grow fast you gotta do deals you gotta raise capital the reason i'm so passionate about it because i know that growing organically and bootstrapping just won't get you there 99 percent of businesses fail in the tech space heck it's like most of the startups out there fail that's why i want to show you how you can sustain yourself grow faster in a much more sustainable way by going out there raise capital do deals because i want to work with people who have i guess a bigger interest in mind rather than just make more money it's about changing the world it's about making an impact and, and doing something good in this world with your talent with your passion so i hope you enjoy this small introduction video about me and i'm looking forward to do to to help you with that journey as well